So workshop six, this one's more about, not about mechanisms and, and things like that. It's more about filling in the reagents, products, or starting materials. So we'll be able to recognize some things. So if you see here, from this starting material to this product, you notice that the OH ends up on the less substituted carbon. So that should tip you off to think, okay, that must be BH3 step one, NaOH, H2O2 step two. You, need, you do need to have step one and step two. You do need to have step one and step two. This one's classic, oxymercuration, demercuration, water's the solvent. So this is a way to add OH to the more substituted carbon, H to the less. Of course, it's a trans addition, but you can't tell that here. But that's the product, we'll get there. Remember this, just all this does, sodium borohydride, all it does is take off the mercury. Here to here, you can see pi bond, and we add here, so we also notice there's no carbocation rearrangements for this one. We're adding an H, and we're adding this O methyl. So if I wanna add solvent and an H, that's a mercury thing, and then I need to pick the right solvent, not water this time, but methanol, right, because I'm adding an O methyl. So those two things, and then sodium borohydride. I saw that the, the solvent went to the more substituted carbon, that made me think of oxymercuration. Given the reagents and the products, what's the starting material? Maybe a little easier. You see that you added H and OH, and add the OH to the less substituted carbon, right? Because that's what boron does, the hydroboration. So you make sure you have the, alk, the pi bond here. That's where things were added, it looks like. And don't forget to have that, that wedge methyl there too, to show the starting material. Is. This one, again, classic. There's the starting, there's the starting material, right? You added, it looks like an O-ethyl and a bromine. So to add bromines, that's probably a bromination and you added a solvent. So Br2 and ethanol is the polar product solvent. So we'll be able to recognize those things. They'd also be trans to each other as well. Would definitely be trans. Another thing to look for. O's analysis, you're given the product. This is really a numbering problem at the end of the day. The, C, the two carbonyls, so carbon one and carbon six need to come together. That's where the alkene was, right? In O's analysis, you cut an alkene and you get two C double bond O's. So this good numbering system gets you to this uh, starting material alkene. Br2, polar A product solvent, so that's not involved in the mechanism. And you can see that the two bromines are added here, and of course they're added trans. The key here to be careful with is when you draw this alkene, where do you put the things? All right, so this methyl is wedged and this ethyl is wedged. So they need to be on the same side of the alkene. Notice that? This ethyl and this H are both hatched, so they need to be on the same side. There's an H here. So be careful when you draw some of these products that you get the right you know, relationship between, right? If th two things are wedged, they need to be on the same side of the alkene. So just be careful with that. Here is just something we've just went through the mechanism more on workshop five. But again, recognizing alkyne to, oops, I did this backwards, alkyne to aldehyde, these sets of reagents should be switched. My fault. These sets of reagents should be switched. If you want to take an alkyne and make an aldehyde, you need this up here. If you want to take an al a terminal alkyne and make a ketone, you need the mercury one. So my fault, I switched those around. My apologies. Again, please, please, please get this right. This needs to go here to get the aldehyde, and this should go here to get the ketone. All right, so make sure you have that right. All right, so some reductions again, ways to look at these reductions. If I have H2 Lindlar's catalyst, that's that syn addition, alkyne to alkene. Make sure you have the bond angles right, and make sure you don't lose or add carbons. If I want the trans alkene from an alkyne, that's that lithium dot, lithium dot, and that ammonia liquid. If I want to take an alkane, alkane and it's an alkyne, right, that's H2 palladium on carbon. That just keeps adding hydrogen. That does not stop. Okay. Terminal alkyne O's analysis this is a good one, right? Again, number those carbons, number those atoms, don't lose them. Terminal alkyne with O's analysis, you're going to get a CO2. Carbon one becomes CO2. Carbon two has a carboxylic acid and three and four are just long for the right. So make sure you have those. What do you see here? You see a O methyl and a Cl got added to this alkyne. 
So you probably say one, I should probably write one equivalence there, just to be very clear, right? Because I'm only adding one. But I have to have a polar protic solvent, and that's methanol because I'm adding one carbon. So just to match the solvent, the polar protic solvent you're adding with what the product is. H2SO4 in water, getting the ketone. Again, one, two, three, four. That comes from an alkyne. That's one of the ways to make ketones is mercury in alkynes. And then acid in water is the other way to make ketones from alkynes. And that's what this is, H2SO4. It's just H plus at the end of the day. So this alkyne will give us this ketone in acid and water. HBr in water, which is really the same, right? H2SO4 is a strong acid, HBr is a strong acid in water. Look at, they give us the same kind of product. Both give us ketones, right? Similar, gone through this kind of mechanism. If we wanna do one Cl2, right, again, be careful, right, one equivalence. We added Cl, two Cls in the trans addition to an alkyne, one equivalence. If we wanna add two bromines, we need to say excess, right? HBr in excess, gotta be careful with the say excess or one equivalence. Here you can see Br2 in excess, you can see wedged, hatched Br, they're trans, Br up, Br down, trans. That tells us, right, that there's one, two, three carbons. So the alkyne that that came from has, can only have how many carbons? Three. So be careful not to add or lose carbons, so it's a terminal alkyne. HBr1 equivalent, pi bond reacts, breaks, you make a carbocation, bromine, the thing that added are trans, but you're just adding one in this case.